this unforgiving deserted island is about to become home to a group of ordinary Brits. This time, men and women will be fighting for their lives together. Shit. Who would size those waves? I've marooned 16 men and women on a deserted island. Like we're in a jungle. They're being stranded alone for a month with only the clothes on their back, a few tools and basic fishing equipment. This you look is like Jack Sparrow. Real. As tropical storm season rages around them. This island bites. And when she bites, she mauls. Well, they have what it takes to survive. Shit! Fill up! Shit, 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 shit! I hate it and this island sucks. Oh! Came out here looking for adventure. We were pretty much found it here. Shit! <laughs> the men and women have been on the island for nearly four weeks. We're literally starving. It's my body. It's withering away. Physically and mentally, they're at breaking point. I oh, speak oh, oh, my God. You guys are all ready today. On. It's good for you. Close buddies Sarah and Patrick volunteered for a last ditch march for food. We're on an adventure together. Led by Dr. Dan. Wow. We need to go faster. We're going as fast as we can. So what do you want us to do? <laughs> Run round. While struggling against vicious tides, an incoming storm, and treacherous terrain. Just be careful. Disaster struck. But you scared the oh, wow. Shit! Shit. Right. Paddy! Paddy's fallen off a cliff, onto his back. Yeah, what? Elliot, I need you down here now! Get down here now! Move yeah. your hands for me, yeah, can you move your hands? Yeah, Lift your legs up for me. Over. Lift your legs for me. We're gonna I'm okay. sorry, I'm so sorry. Shit. Paddy, you're okay. Mate, you're okay. You're okay, you are okay. Hey, trust you're okay. me. Please come out immediately, no, no, no. immediately. We need to get him into the shore. With the tides rising, they have no choice but to move him. Listen, listen. Oh, you're alive. <laughs> you're moving all four limbs. It's great. Okay? You are very, very lucky. All right. Paddy is now out of the water, off the rocks, and onto the beach safely. Very upset, saying he feels that feels a lot of pain in his legs. Stricken Patrick and the rest of the group are now down in a tiny cove. For sake. CR1, CR1, do you copy over? Yeah, copy over. We are on a very, very rocky beach. Huge cliff, very little beach. Over. Within the hour, the cove will be completely underwater. We're waiting in position for you to come in. Over. I wanted you guys to turn back earlier, but you didn't. It's happened, so we're going to have to deal with it. You OK, babe? You're fine. That was really high. <laughs> My rapid response safety team head for the island. Just stand by and keep in communication with us. Out. You feel me touching you there? Yeah. Can you squeeze my fingers for me? Squeeze those fingers. Tight. Really tight. This place is unreal. It's unbelievable. Um, so shaken up moment. I think none of us really know what's going on. Um, we just need to get out of here soon. It's tight, it's coming in, it's getting cold. Um, this adventure has turned to a, a trip from hell. <laughs> At base camp, they're weathering the storm, unaware of the dangers Patrick and the others are in. I thought they'd be back by now. It's just so dangerous. He's desperate to stay out. He's out. Yeah. I just hope they're all right. There's, there's logs falling left, right and centre. We don't know when the next one's going to fall. We don't know when it's going to stop raining. If a massive tree comes on here, right, I'm going to do what I do best. I'm going to do like that. Yeah. <laughs> I can see him, pads are coming. The stormy seas are too rough for the boat to get close. CR1, CR1, do you copy? Do you see us? 
What's going on? It's just really hard for them to get in here. The real issue we have right now is that this is the area the boat's trying to get through. Absolutely riddled with rocks. This is a really, really not a good place to be. I don't know how they're going to get in. How many people are in that cove? Five in total. Five in total. Over. OK, yeah, roger that. With no other option, the rescue team have to swim ashore. Here he comes, here he comes. So dangerous. Yeah. I think caught on the rock. It's very risky for them to come in like that. Look at the sea. There's just, like, savage rocks. No, it's crazy. And if this way is easier, no rocks. Look at this gap here. Where were you and what did you do? Do you want to tell him, Dan? I'll tell you, mate. On that ridge just there, yeah. slipped, fell vertically, yeah. did not bang his head, but obviously extremely pale, nearly blacked out. Well, that's pretty, uh, pretty ropey. That was quite, quite nervous coming in and swimming in there. Uh, I think we're going to get her out. Uh, I don't know at the moment. Can't get a boat close enough in it. All right, okay, do I? Squeeze your fingers, squeeze them. And this one. I've not got x-ray eyes, but your spine, where I've pressed, if you'd done something, you would have screamed and shouted at me, okay? Yeah. Felt around your pelvis as well, that felt all intact and as it should do. Okay? Yeah. Cool. All right. Thank you. Right. Problem is the sea's too rough to get a boat in. We we couldn't be on a in, in a, a worse position. Place. But at this stage... And not just be selfish, but what are we going to do? They're going to have to get us off as well, that's the problem. Because the tide's now coming in. In terms of getting it out, we're a little bit stuck for options. Guys, 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 we've got two minutes to do this. Yeah. I want you to go with Adrian now. Patrick's staying here, we'll get him out. Those waves are getting iron, I don't want you to get whipped off all of those rocks. Bye. This way, Annie. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, Annie. Take it easy. Bye. Right, we've got to get out of here. The group have no choice but to leave Patrick with one of the rescue team. The other leads them back the way they came, along the treacherous coastline. Ah, I'm watching! Ah! I'm all right, I'm all right. Just a little slip. With the sea this rough, my boat safety team won't be able to rescue anyone if they slip. Shit. OK. The tide is coming in pretty quick. Shit, that's the helicopter. Shit, it might just keep looking out for us, you know? On the rocks in this weather. Wow. I told you that it's a helicopter. Yeah. And it's a rescue helicopter. Is it going over there? Something's happened. Jesus! Okay. It's gonna get out of here. It's fucking moving in. Okay, that's all of us. The tide is coming in pretty quick. Uh, right there? Yep. Well fucking done. hell. How the fuck am I gonna get right there? This is the last push, but we've got to move I know. fast. And I'm fine here. This is literally insane. <laughs> Don't go behind because there's rocks falling everywhere now. Fucking sick. Fucking hell. It's dangerous, Rosie, right? Yeah. I know. Yes, Ros. Okay, it's chopping a tree down. Careful below! This goes from bad to worse, doesn't it? Alright, guys, we're almost at the top here. Well done. Go. Mate, that is insane. Yeah. Well, definitely be a day I'll remember, man. Paddy hopefully has been rescued. We've managed to get around from the tides. Came for an adventure and we certainly got one. Gonna get out of here. It's 
fucking moving in, shit! The rest of the expedition, trapped in a cove with the tide rising, had to scale sheer cliffs to reach safety. Was he all right? All these rocks I know. Well done. Oh, mate, that is insane. Dan, mate. Dan. Yeah. You alright? Yeah. He could have died then. Whose expedition was it? But it's not your fault. You can't be just blaming yourself about this. There's no point beating yourself up. It could have been me, you or Ben that have stopped it. We should have stopped it. But that's the whole misjudgment with being hungry and tired, you know? Um, this way. Yeah. Oh, my God, what the fuck has happened? Somebody missing? Huh? Paddy's Paddy. missing. Paddy's missing. Yeah. What's happened? Is he okay? Paddy's fallen off a cliff. Oh. He's all right. He's all right, but he's been medievaced out. Yeah, we know that. <gasps> he uh, fell off a ledge yeah. about 20 it's foot. Fine. Shit. Yeah. He's okay. He's, he's all right. He's all right. He's talking and he's been taken to hospital now for probably a CT and x rays. But he's all right. <gasps> I think we're all just very, very, very shocked indeed because it, it could have gone the other way. I honestly just can't get that. that 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 him just falling off the rocks in my head is just literally playing off my mind. Um, I've seen a few things, if I'm honest, in my time, but that was really, really, really disturbing. You never think something like that is going to happen. Obviously, I feel responsible. It was my expedition. I should have been more forceful and said, everyone, stop. Let's go back. I just thought... Could have been any one of us, and like we're, we're making decisions. No, because you know what it is now, we're playing with our lives, aren't we? Shane, are you okay? A couple of centimeters more, head injury, break your neck. Oh my god, we are so vulnerable. Patrick is airlifted over 100 kilometers to the mainland for emergency treatment. We performed your head. CAT scan, OK? Yeah. Because it's a severe trauma, I'm going to check out everything, OK? Thanks. Over. Cheers, Ben. The fantastic news is, after a full-body CT scan, He's absolutely fine, except for some bruising. A miraculous escape, and it could have been a fatality. Still, in retrospect, foolish. It could have been so bloody different. Each day on the island is a challenge, and it proves that. Obviously, yesterday with Patrick Farley, it's not a walking park. It's dangerous. It's us who's asked to be on the island. We wasn't made to come on the island. I really enjoyed the challenge. It's given me a new look on life. Definitely. Here we have a near extinct species, the Manchester Chris, or Manchester, as he's known. Frequently seen on mornings, coastally. The species washes itself, primarily from the top down, sometimes even defecating in the water, sending what's described by Chris himself as a Manchester hammer. <laughs> Seems pretty pleased with himself today. These can grow up to six and a half feet tall, live for about 100 years. Living the dream. <laughs> then when he got out, he looked like he was uh, some egg and chips man from Tenerife. It's brilliant. <laughs> Hat, glasses and a pair of pants, why not? Following Patrick's accident and the failure to find food, the islanders have eaten barely anything for three days. Guys, here! What the hell? I hope I'm 
Loads of them. Yesterday's storm has unexpectedly driven a shoal of fish into the islanders' bay. What the hell is going on? It's mental, isn't it? After seeing barely a fish in their whole time here, suddenly the camp is inundated. You're just getting, you're getting them and then they're getting away. <laughs> this is a magical thing that's happening. We are starving and fish are washing up on the shore. Yes, Tilly! Fishies. You ever seen this? Before? Never seen anything like this before, no. So weird, man. Listen, there's no point in rushing. They're not going anywhere yet. Right in the hand. Nicky got breakfast. Dan's improvised the net to catch even more. I think the doctor's found a new vocation in life. The schoolboy's gone back to a massive playground. He yes. just goes, yeah. There's fish for everyone. I mean, yeah. it's mental. Wanna give him a kiss? That's a big load of fish. That was, that was a gift. Brilliant. That was a gift from Paddy. Paddy's on his knees paid for. After witnessing Patrick's near fatal fall, this is an important chance for the islanders to move on. Because however bad your situation is, you can't wallow in negativity. You know, survival is about dogged determination and never giving up. Fish finger. <laughs> hey, After what happened to Paddy, Mother Nature throws us a lifeline. Not only that, but we came together as a group. That is fabuloso. Oh, God, I hate killing you. I'm sorry. Ah! I literally just got squirted both fish guts in my face. Hey, it's the only thing you've been squirted oh, in the face Alice. with. Alice. Lower the tone. Chef Elliot can, for once, serve up a respectable breakfast. Oh, my God! Oh, Elliot. <laughs> Never had, like, a whole fish to myself. <laughs> Most important meal of the day as well, breakfast, isn't it? So, um, yeah, proper happy about that. It's amazing. What do you think, Chris? Very nice. Yeah. Right, guys, I dedicate these fish to our really good friend, Paddy. Cheers to Paddy. To Paddy! This island can be absolute hell on earth, and then literally within the flick of a switch, it's incredible havens. I love that about this place. It shows how wild and rugged it is, you know? This is true surviving. Next morning brings a stark reminder of their plight. We've been up for about seven hours now, nursing a partner in the pouring wet, freezing cold. The whole camp is absolutely fucking grim. All the energy we've got from the fish yesterday has just been completely zapped by the lack of sleep. Yeah, it's raining, it's wind there, there's no food, but I suppose this island is like a scorpion. Beautiful, but a sting in the tail. Tilly's determined to raise camp morale. How you doing? Yeah, I'm in actually really good mood. I don't really know why, because it's pissing down the rain. I'm soaking wet, the day sparked, but I'm just having little thoughts in my head and I'm happy. Despite the miraculous fish catch, the group move constantly from feast to famine. Thinking we cannot be the ones to just sit here and just plod on. We need food. I've ensured the island does have enough indigenous animals and vegetation to keep them alive. They just have to find it, catch it, and kill it. I feel dizzy, weak, nauseous. My stomach is hurting like hell from the inside out. It hurts, literally beginning to hurt. Hmm? I'll give that a touch. Nice. That's real nice, yeah. That has turkey's head written all over it. The group have seen wild turkeys on the island, and the men are keen to try and hunt them down. It's just going out to be <laughs> go for it. Wow. <laughs> 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 
Since arriving, the men have dominated most of the hunting, but have usually returned empty-handed. The boys like doing the ego stuff, don't they? They like doing the macho things. I like the way that the dynamics are different with it when you have boys and girls together. Variety is the spouse of life. It's like a mixed biryani. If there is a turkey, I'll strangle it. Strangled a cow before. There's so many books about being deserted on a desert island, and they're always romanticised. It's like Robinson Crusoe, Lord of the Flies, and it's like, wow, I have the opportunity to do that. I've grown up in Devon. I have killed rabbits, pigeons, pheasants, partridge. I'll be gutted if I find out that I'm gathering limpets and berries for the boys. I think I am 100% man enough to do it. Come on, the sugar tits. Uh, so I'm feeling really positive. I want to keep going. I want to catch something so bad. Do you like being in the jungle? Yeah, I can love it. Well, it puts hair on your chest, doesn't it? Yeah. Men so often could be cocky. You know, they presume that they're going to be the best at hunting. And they tend to think that being a hero means coming back with that glory kill. We are going to eat half straight away, aren't we? Well, I think we should eat as much until we're full, really. I agree. The boys do take the lead, and we do let them. They are predominantly going at hunting. And I don't know why that is. Like, they haven't got any more experience than us. None of us are, like, expert. But they, they are generally always at the forefront of it. That's a little busted turkey. That's, that's what I heard. Yeah. There are clear signs of prey nearby. I've never yeah, been so, so happy to find poo before. That is smell fresh. It. Smell it and taste it. Our mentality is, go on, boys, we'll put all the effort in, we'll catch one pig and that'll last us a week, because we want, like, that trophy hunt. I just feel that there's too many mouths to feed. I know what you mean. I... Shh. What's that? It feels so sketchy down here. Come here. Look straight ahead. Near the water's edge. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, big lizard. Oh, shit myself, mate. It's gone. Ah, fuck this. It's like a really shit Disney movie, isn't it? <laughs> Two girls, one log. That sounds like a pool now, yeah. is it? That is! Two girls, one luck. Oh. 28-year-old Tilly has found herself mainly doing the camp chores since arriving. We've just had a really nice little tidy up in the camp. All the clothes and the floor's nice and clean. Joint effort, dustpan and brush here. All your mod cons that you need on the island. Um, the boys are in work. We've gone back to the 1940s. I've got to admit, it's pretty funny that man hunt, woman clean. This is what it's like, survival. <laughs> I am a barmaid, a bar supervisor. I really like it there. I'd love one day to have my own pub. That's, like, my dream dream. I live with my mum. It's just so expensive to move out. I share a room with my older sister. All I have is this bed in the corner and a Jason stay from cut out. It's, it's not ideal, but it's my little room. I think when you are 18, you look, oh, what's, what's my life going to be in 10 years' time? It definitely wasn't this. If I was in the pub right now, going to, so I'm going, you missed a bit there. I don't go out hunting. I don't know anything about fishing. I don't really feel like I have much of a place. So I just plod along and do what people tell me to do, basically. Tilly Billy, I'm going to film the heroes coming back. My tummy's beginning to hurt. I hope they get some here. The boys are back in town. They've got something. No. We've got to fuck all. It's official. We couldn't actually catch a cold. So annoying. Oh, yeah, there's turkeys on the island. Fucking great. How many wild turkeys have you ever caught in your life? Jesus. On the plus side, the girls will clean the camp today, and it looks fabuloso. After the men's failed hunt, the islanders are about to spend yet another night hungry. Oh, it's all right, though. It can only get better. I can't get much worse than this, can you? 
You know when you meet like a proper fit bloke and he's just over six foot, nice dark hair, broad shoulders, good strong jawline and just fit as. And then you get to know him and he turns out to be a complete prick. That's basically how I would describe this island. I think if the group had to stay on indefinitely, we would all die. Ah! I'm loving Chris's pose currently. It's time for Chris's morning ablutions. Does he just go to stay in the water? He's a little breath of normalcy, isn't he? Hi, babe. I literally just thought it was Daniel Craig. So I thought <laughs> I thought I'd better rush over and say hello. <laughs> I've definitely learned that in real nightmare situations, one of the most important qualities is cheerfulness in adversity, which just means an ability to smile through the hard times. And when it's difficult, you can laugh at yourself, laugh at the situation. I was thinking, should we uh, phone him up and ask him, can we stay on an extra month? <laughs> Chris, have you always been so lovely? Yes. It's nice to be nice, isn't it? Never gets down and never gets stressed which is a perfect antidote when cold and hungry and just pissed off. I've been looking at these pictures and it just makes you really want to go home. I'm really, really missing them. I'll be with you soon, so don't worry. Elliot, tell me what your plans are for today. Go out, get the hook in the water. It's a good time to fish. Bueno. Bye, mate. Good luck. See you in a bit, boys. See you in a bit. Keep it real like Ian Beale, yeah? Always. With nothing for breakfast, Elliot's determined to do anything to feed everyone. Yes! 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 Oh, yes! yes. Nice one, Elliot. Here we go. Whoa! 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 He's got a fish. He's only got a bit of fish. No. No, 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 no. I don't know what kind of fish it is. Is that a puffer fish? If it is a puffer fish, it's poisonous. Oh, oh, it is a puffer fish. Is it? Yeah, look at the size of it. Fuck! Oh, look. It's a puffer fish. Ooh. Yeah, you yeah, can't eat it. Right. Don't bring a puffer fish here if it's not edible. Kills you between 17 minutes and three hours. Way more dangerous than cyanide. Fishing is starting to get on my tits. It's a patience game. We'll maybe catch, like, one in a hundred. If we stop, it will be completely fruitless. Whereas if we carry on, we should be able to catch something. Let's get it back in. While Elliot tries his luck again, Tilly and the women are back doing the daily chores in camp. Same old shit, different day, tidy up, get fireworks. I think, like, when the men came, yeah, they probably did take over. That's just what men do, though, isn't it? Like, they like to be a little bit chauvinistic sometimes. Sills, you want to get a fire going? Oh, it's piercing smoke in my face. Get out of the smoke and go Should and I give put yourself... that back over there? Just leave it. It doesn't matter. Yeah, but now I need to make that fire again. That one's coming. Now, just get some breath. Erica's been helping Tilly get to grips with the art of survival. Talk to me, Tills. Piss off, please. We're struggling with the fire. Tilly's getting upset with herself. Tills, it sounds like you're doing a great I'm job, not, mate. Sorry, I'm doing an absolute wank job. I can't even make a fucking fire. I just feel like I'm useless here. She's not useless. She's just bashing herself up. I don't know why. I just feel completely useless. <laughs> Everyone just seems to be good at something you like. And I just sort of seem to be in a fucking broom in my hand. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Me too, like like me too because I'm like... Way to be oh, a yeah, but it's... And stayed at home for that, do you know what I mean? And stayed on the bike. <laughs> I just want to do myself proud. Yeah, yeah and I really, really don't want to fail, do you know no. what I mean? Tilly, Tilly, Tilly. Grown up in, like, two entirely different environments. Me and a little farm. Her, a London girl through and through. Fiery at times. Is a barmaid and wants to be like a landlady, and she would be the ultimate Peggy Mitchell. Why don't you get Erica to teach you how to make a trap today? Because I'll be shit at that as well. Shut up! You don't know until you try. And to be honest, Tills, how many people have gone out fishing? Yeah. How many fish they caught? Okay. One, so and it was fucking poisonous. Have some fish? Yeah, loads. I just um, left them out there. Next time. 
Right, is everyone ready? Yeah. What's happening now? Tilly's plucked up the courage to tell the group about her dream. She wants to hunt down a big kill. Right, I think we need a team out today. Me, Everkart and Zoe are going out hunting and setting traps. Sorry, sorry. Who is hunting? Ben and I. I'll go and do the traps and get it out to yeah. there. Why don't one, two, three, one, two, three go? I don't think we need that many. We don't need six out. No. I think it's only worth four people, therefore we've got an excess of two. Whoever that excess are should stay here. It'd be more beneficial to have people try and get shit cleared because there's a lot of us living in quite a small space. But I'm going to do it anyway. What will happen if you... OK, you see it approach the trap? We'll probably do the same as what you would do if you saw the trap, yeah, no. First call of combat with the turkey. Oh, yeah. So Tilly's just going to be waiting around the jungle and we're going well, to... We're going hunting today, as well, yeah. we're not just waiting around for a turkey, but, yeah, just to clarify. I'm furious. Like, what are you going to do when you find a turkey? I'm going to fucking kill it. What do you think I'm going to do? What do you think I'm less of a person than you because you're a man? Tilly has ventured deep into the jungle with Erica and Zoe. Is it a bubble? Yeah. To track down the elusive turkey. I think this is our stakeout area. Should we do a trap then, darling? Yeah. If I can do this, I've got it in my mind that I can do anything. I need to just, like, bite the bullet and do it. We've got to find a hard one. These are all soft, floppy, you know, like a useless man. <laughs> soft and floppy, like a useless man. <laughs> Ever calm. Hmm? When I said that, and they were like, mm -hmm. it made me sound no, like I thought it was, it was quite, I thought it was quite a good idea. I think the boys think that we're incapable a little bit. Eric has been an absolute babe today, has looked after me. It's got to be hooked over so that it stays in one place. You know, they're all virile 30-odd-year-olds, and they feel that they saved us. Yeah, I think that. I agree completely. I feel like they just come in and take over. Has it stayed? Yeah. Woo! It's like an extreme version of Blue Peter, isn't it, this? Tomorrow, I really, really hope we find something. I hope it's one of the girls. It would be nice if we could be like, yeah, fuck you. How much do you actually know about Chris and, like, what he does? Tell me now, is this that secret millionaire and we just don't know? Yeah. <laughs> what do you do? What's your colourful past? You've been in prison, haven't you? Hey, less of that kind of fucking talk. You have been in prison, haven't you? What were you yeah. in for? He's Was it been nice. for being too nice? <laughs> <laughs> no, robberies. Robbery? Really? Yeah. yeah. No young, shit. Young and foolish, isn't it? Hey, I'd only been married six weeks. Wow. Six days nuts. Yeah. What, did you rob a house? Or no, no, yeah. banks and stuff like that. Banks? No way. Yeah. 1985, got done for attempted robbery and uh, got six and a half years in prison. Prison taught me bad times, good times. Either way, you, you survive. Life's for living. Comparing kind of your time in prison to here, what, you know... Prison on a 1 to 10 was a 3 or a 4. Yeah. This is beyond 10. So if you had to choose to do four years here or four years back in the neck, what would you choose? The neck. Really? Yeah. <gasps> that fucking lizard. Gentlemen, we have a bit of meat. I think we should cook him till he's chewy. Desperate times equals... Killing baby lizards. <laughs> Who's going to try and eat one little tiny bit of this lizard? But I think most of the middle part is just gut, honestly. For now, Erica's the only person to bring food to the table. A four-inch lizard. You like the Delia Smith of survival. <laughs> the Delia Smith of survival. Front claw. Chew them. Oh. Just chuck it all in your mouth. Do you know what? That actually tastes really good. Yeah. The back leg, so that the best bit, probably. I've never looked at a lizard as food. It was a tiny, t just a rem reminder, wasn't it, of yeah. what meat tastes Next like. Let's have a lizard. Oh, lizard. I'm going to whack anything. But these, yeah. like, sandwiches house. Ooh. Smells so nice. Are they clean? Mm. Oh my god, they're clean. They smell How nice. Oh, nice. oh my god, they're amazing. Did they ever think they'd yeah. smell yeah. tampons? Yeah, like so and these so as well. Let's smell them. With little food to eat, the islanders find sensual gratification 
elsewhere. Every cloud has a silver lining. Every cloud has a panty lining. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fire is quite an accurate reflection of us right now, isn't it? It's got all the components it needs. It's just something not quite right. At the moment, we are so far from thriving. We are on the brink of surviving. I came out here wanting to achieve more than anyone has before, but it's just so incredibly hard. We need some carbs. Ideally, to find a massive root of yucca would be super. That would give us all a boost. Concerned by the lack of food in camp, Dr Dan is proposing another expedition to the south of the island. To be honest with you, I don't want slackers to come because people that go will have to go at our pace yeah. or they'll be left behind. Food. You can't sit here and just wait for the food to come to us. So I want to go and do another expedition for a day and a night. No way. We're just, like, risking, like, our safety. Like, it's madness, really. What's the point? I'm not asking whether you whether you approve of it. I'm saying, do you do you, do you want to? Go? I think you really should like re-evaluate that. To avoid the dangerous rocks where Patrick fell, this time Dan wants to head straight through the dense jungle. Can I ask hands up if you are interested in going? I really do want to push on and find some food. I feel like we can find it today. As long as we go now, everyone's procrastinating. It's driving me crazy. Turkey, yucca, anything. anything really. See you later, gang. Be safe, man. Cheers, Dylan. Back into the jungle they went. Yeah. <laughs> Not knowing what they may find. Dr. Dan and the boys head off. Trekking through the jungle is probably safer than working your way along that difficult, rocky coastline. But when you've got limited water and you factor in the potential of getting lost, then you got serious problems. Feel the burn. Oh, I didn't sign up for this. Mm -hmm. Three hours in, and the thick jungle is proving impenetrable. Ah! Shit! I've slashed my leg open. Fuck! Oh fuck! Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's deep. Ah! Oh. oh fucking hell! That could have been your artery. Oh bloody brilliant! I know. I've got to stitch it. Really? Shit. Okay. <laughs> In these humid conditions, this deep cut could quickly turn septic. I can't leave it open. I can't tra traipse for four hours through the jungle with all the midges, flies, uh, insects. By the time I got home, it, it would be infected. It would appear that the hunt always has a slight curse to it. We haven't made it injury-free yet, but Dan's going to stitch himself back together, and I'm going to be here with a hand for him to squeeze. <laughs> that is crazy. You got Rambo just stitching himself up in the field. Yeah, but I've got local anaesthetic and uh yeah, Rambo didn't. And a sterile pack. <laughs> Feeling all right, Dan? Yeah. Yeah. He's just given himself like three bottles of liquid morphine. Of course he's feeling yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. You really do want to push on and find some food. Otherwise, that is a lot of calories and energy to have burned for nothing. These are my sleeping knickers. Dad's knickers. Get the boat. I didn't know they were that big. They are massive. Well, what we could do if we built a raft, we've got no uh, yeah. spinner. We've got a sail. It's yeah. so high with these. Tilly and camera woman Zoe are heading out to check the traps they set with Erica. Well, I'll see you all later. Bob, don't forget to clean my knickers, please. <laughs> but hopefully, it's a big fat turkey in there. Because this is just the most. Ridiculous experience I've ever had in my life. I'm a city girl. Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! What? Oh what? my what? god! There's a turkey in that fucking trap. <gasps> <gasps> Despite Dan's injury, Elliot and Dan are determined to push on as the whole camp are starving. Hadn't eaten enough to have enough energy to walk. Oh my God. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh my God. Dan's made the sweetest of discoveries. What have you found up here? I found the garden of sugarcane. Amazing. 
Awesome. We walked into a sweet shop. So good. Oh, my God. Stick that in your mouth, Ben. That is absolutely delicious. This is amazing. We've just found the sugar cane field of dreams. And Elliot's found another lifesaver. Look at the size of that bad boy. Tons of yucca in here, man. Excellent. Yes. Would it not worth it? The island tried to beat us, but we've, we've come back and we've actually nailed it. Oh, bloody hell. We can be eaten like champions. Oh. <laughs> I'll have to kill this. Yeah, you are. I'm scared. Okay. So, deep breaths, deep breaths. Stop him, stop him, sorry. Yeah, that's it. Good girl. Deep breaths, deep breaths. You. <laughs> Murderer! <laughs> and right now, I feel like I can... Like I'm capable of fucking running for president or something, I don't know. I need to remember this feeling and remember that I killed a turkey and that I can fucking do anything. Oh, God. How we do it, the girls. Elliot is going to have a field day cooking this. I know. Is that how you carry a dead I turkey? I think so. I mean, I've never done it before, but... What's your bag? Uh, it's the Island Turkey, 2016. <laughs> disrespectful, disrespectful, I'm sorry. For her to have done that, I just know it will do so much for her, for her sense of self-worth, for her morale. <gasps> She's tiny, but mighty. I feel like a superwoman. I genuinely feel like a superwoman. The lads are back. You right, darling? How'd you get on? Yeah, all right. Not as well as we hoped. Don't worry about it. But then we did stumble across all this. Check it out. Oh, my God! That yeah. is Kane. It will rock it's your so world. Much oh, my God, you lying bastard! And the... Oh, oh. Hi, Elliot. Oh, oh God! Bueno. Mm. You're going to try yours, Matt. It's brown sugar. It is actual brown sugar. How sick is that? It's incredible. It's so nice, isn't it? It's been something sweet after all this time. I am chuffed, man. Wow, I'll give you some money. Do you want it? That is delicious. After nearly a month, the islanders are tasting sugar for the first time. And it's going to give them this sudden hit of energy, sweetness, and strength. This stuff is like crack cocaine. Or what I imagine crack to be like. God, it's so delicious. It feels fabulous. God, it's sweet. I love the island. I love the island. Wow. But after consuming too much comes the inevitable sugar crash. For the first time in weeks, I can feel my stomach actually doing something. Yes, what has she got? Did you wash my knickers? I haven't washed your pants yet. You can't have fucking dinner then, can ya? Oh, you are <laughs> kidding me. Is that a turkey? Yeah! Ah! Yeah. Oh, what? Woo! Ah! You got that! Yeah! It was alive and we had to kill Did it! Did you do it? Yeah! Yes. Oh, my God! Well done! <laughs> The ones that we sent the things around yesterday. Oh, Did you kill it? Up. Yeah. You killed it? Yeah, it's still alive. I just macheted his neck off. I was like, eh! I was pathetic. The I'm smallest done. girl yeah. in the group yeah. as she brings home the bacon. Yeah. Well done, yeah. Sarah. Well done. Yeah. Turkey dinner. We're going to win a turkey dinner. Yay! Yeah. This is very weird, isn't it? This is just like Nando's right here and then. Cheeky Nando's! It falls to Chef Elliot to prepare a roast turkey dinner. The turkey's over, Elliot. I feel like a real fool for having 
doubted that it would work out at the start, but you know what? Tilly's been prolific setting traps and hunting. Overall, I'm so proud of her. There you are, Tilly. It's the first bit. That is proper juicy. First bit of turkey. That's lovely. Oh. That is so good. For all us, I'm really happy that it was you, Tilly, that got that bird. Yeah. I'm really, really oh, happy you. with you. You have put graft in for all of the traps. Yeah. Oh, my God, I'm so happy. Yeah. Like, daily life, I'm so fucking happy. It's so good, man. Oh. Before I come here, I didn't even know what foraging or foliage was. I'm more like fake tan and fur coat. Now I'm just like going out hunting. What the fuck? Chris, have you got any trousers on there? No. He yeah. hasn't got any knickers on either. Yay! 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 So, you know in Peter Pan, when Peter Pan says to Wendy that one girl is worth ten boys, that's still, like, my favourite saying ever. Double bums, double bums! We do occasionally have a laugh here! <laughs> Bob, come here. Next time on the island. I feel okay. weird. We've made it our home, but we've been its bitch. Fuck, man, that's nasty. No, don't like it. I don't like it. I don't no like worries. this. Fuck's sake. This is getting too risky now. The island's pissed at us, guys. I would love one of my arrows to catch a fucking large Big Mac and cheese. It's dead. Oh, Ooh, fuck. Fuck me. It's dead. <laughs>